I'm Professor Shimon Ray and I'm the founding chair of the Need for Nutrition Education Innovation Programme and its Global Centre for Nutrition and Health. This programme, also known as NEDPRO, is based in Cambridge and is a multifaceted programme that encompasses medical or healthcare related nutrition education, research into the effectiveness of that education, primary research into human nutrition, particularly so that evidence can be tested and created in order to inform education, and also a focus on policy, practice and capacity building in human nutrition and health. The NEDPRO story actually began in 2008 when the Department of Health Nutrition Action Plan was published and mandated that NEDPRO be formed at that time as the Need for Nutrition Education project. To take a step back from there, there was quite a body of work that was done between the years 2005 and 2007 which led to this Nutrition Action Plan. Some of the key organisations involved in that work were the Council of Europe Alliance, which was co-hosted by the British Dietetic Association, as well as the UK Hospital Caterers Association. This work was participated in by a number of others, such as the British Medical Association, which I represented at the time, and key stakeholders, who together put forth a mandate, not only to improve nutrition education for healthcare professionals, but for this to ultimately result in better nutritional care across our healthcare services. Some of this was translated into what is now known as the 10 key characteristics for good hospital-based nutritional care, and much of this made its way into policy and guidance, and in fact some of it also formed part of a BBC documentary which charted the journey of a patient through hospital back into the community looking at all of the touch points for nutrition in healthcare. NEDPRO started its real world journey in 2008 as the group that formed NEDPRO moved to the University of Cambridge and in 2009 we undertook our first task or challenge which was to actually conduct a pilot nutrition education intervention study involving 100 medical students from over 15 medical schools across the country. We also had a control group of a couple of hundred medical students who we monitored as part of this exercise to compare the results of our intervention with those of the control. This exercise brought all of these students to a series of intensive training weekends in Cambridge and we measured any changes that took place in knowledge, attitudes and practices of mainly fourth year medical students to see if nutrition education interventions were indeed an effective tool to herald changes to practice. What we found was that a short, sharp and innovative form of intervention could significantly improve knowledge, attitudes and self-reported practices and this really filled us with promise for the future and the confidence to take the next steps in the NEDPRO journey. So the work that we undertook in 2009 led to a peer-reviewed journal publication entitled The Evaluation of a Novel Nutrition Education Intervention Across Medical Students in England and you can find this to read online in detail at BMJ Open. Also in the year 2009 NEDPRO won a national poster prize competition at the Institute of Clinical Research and this was for our approach to our nutrition education intervention which used a mixed methods model. This in fact inspired us to do more of the same and drove us much more into this methodological field. In the year 2010 there were concerted efforts to actually put together the first ever undergraduate nutrition education curriculum for medical students in the UK. The NEDPRO group were fortunate to be able to contribute to this by sharing examples of what works and what doesn't in terms of the delivery strategies for nutrition education 
particularly in the context of an already overcrowded medical curriculum. Also in 2010, the NEDPRO group were fortunate to receive the Nutrition Society poster prize at the conference of the British Association for Parental and Enteral Nutrition, also known as BAPEN. One of the common areas of concern shared by NEDPRO and BAPEN is the issue of patients being malnourished in hospital or institutional care. At the cusp of 2010-11, the NEDPRO group moved from the University of Cambridge's Institute of Public Health into the Medical Research Council's Elsie Widdison Laboratory dedicated to human nutrition research and located in Cambridge. With this move, the NEDPRO group was able to marry up the agenda of nutrition education with primary nutrition research, the two of which continue to connect and synergize. In 2011, we decided to take on a new challenge. Although we had trained medical students and demonstrated improvement in their knowledge, attitudes and practices relating to nutrition, we wanted to test whether or not this would make a difference in the real world, i.e. in the National Health Service. So, we recalled some of the highest performers from our original cohort of 100, and we created three teams across three very different regions of the NHS, all of which shared the same problem, and that was actually hospital malnutrition. And using the technology available to us in Cambridge from both the nutrition side as well as the Judge Business School, we were able to put together a project known as NALICO, Nutrition Education and Leadership for Improved Clinical Outcomes, and we gave these medical students, who by that time were junior doctors, equal amounts of training in both clinical aspects of nutrition as well as training in change management and leadership, and gave them the task of going back to their three different regions of the NHS and enacting Nutrition Awareness Weeks in order to solve some of the problems highlighted by the Care Quality Commission. All of these three regions were very successful in using a bottom-up approach to leadership led by the junior doctors with top-down buy-in from the hospital management. By the year 2012, we had already been running a pilot on nutrition education in the undergraduate medical curriculum at the University of Cambridge. We then decided to formally evaluate this pilot strand of teaching. This evaluation was published and can be read online as our video abstract, which is also available via our website. Based on this publication, this teaching strand was formalised and funded by government, leading to a strand of nutrition teaching throughout the clinical years of the undergraduate Cambridge Medical Curriculum. By 2013, we began to spread our message across different specialisms. So moving slightly away from medical students, we began to look much more closely at the nutrition and hydration education of general practitioners, which really interfaced us with primary care. We also began to look at the nutrition education of pharmacists, and very importantly, we began to look at the nutrition education of those who conduct research in nutrition to ensure that there was a common denominator in terms of basic understanding, language, terminology, and the ability to advise the public, as well as give consistent and competent messages to the media. Also over 2013, we began to share our findings at international conferences, notably the American Society for Nutrition and Experimental Biology, and this really led to a number of requests to collaborate and exchange knowledge from across borders. In 2013, apart from our key publications in medical nutrition education, we were also able to look closely at the issue of hospital malnutrition and publish a review on the prevalence of this problem from 1994 to date. This forms an important part of the body of evidence that helps us to determine the next steps in tackling this issue. Apart from this, we also focused on the nutrition research side and in order to encourage translatable evidence, we published a paper on 
nutrition and cardiovascular risk, particularly focusing on the importance of good methodology so that reliable data can be garnered for translation to practice through education. The period 2014 to 2016 really represents an exponential phase in the growth of NED proactivity, partly due to increased ability to respond to a number of opportunities that were presented to us. In 2014, we attended the United Nations Non-Communicable Diseases Roundtable, which in turn fed into the Global Nutrition Report and all of the discussions that took place around ICN2, a conference that was hosted by the World Health Organization and its partner institution, the Food and Agriculture Organization. In addition to this, back home, we received recognition from the British Dietetic Association through the award of an honorary lifetime associateship in recognition of NEDPRO's contributions to the dietetic professions. Further afield, again in dietetics, the NEDPRO Education Director in particular began to make waves through the European Federation of the Association of Dietitians, as well as the Commonwealth Dietitians and Nutritionists Association, of which our Education Director is the inaugural chair. Furthermore, we had the opportunity to input to a BBC programme which actually considered the implications of mandatory standards around hospital food and nutritional care. And this really brought us full circle from the 10 key characteristics which were laid down by the Council of Europe Alliance work which we were involved in at the very outset of NEDPRO's early years. Also in 2014 we began to interface and interact with new stakeholder groups that we had not engaged with previously. One of these was the food industry and our inclusion in Food Matters Live which is something that has continued since. Food Matters Live is one of the largest fora not only in the UK but in Europe that brings together members of the food industry with a number of experts around food, nutrition and health. Another important community that we developed interaction with in 2014 was the House of Lords, a member of whom was soon to become our first honorary patron. 2015 is perhaps our most eventful year to date marking exactly 10 years since the start of the Council of Europe Alliance work, which first gave momentum to the idea of NEDPRO. In January 2015, we held our very first national essay competition for medical students on food as medicine. This attracted some very interesting applications and the top three presented their ideas at a national meeting held at the beginning of February that year and the prize winners were supported by the NEDPRO group to take their ideas forward in the real world. In February 2015 we had the unique opportunity to launch Naliko India, Nutrition Education and Leadership for Improved Clinical and Public Health Outcomes. We trained over 200 professionals around the World Congress. This training encompassed basic concepts in nutrition, the basics of research methods to generate locally sensitive data of high quality to inform policy and practice, and also training around a toolkit in change management and leadership, enabling people to take their nutrition basic knowledge as well as research findings into practice settings. We identified 10 champions from amongst the highest performers in the 200 plus cohort that we trained and these champions were assigned two projects. Five of them formed a team working on the incorporation of nutrition education in medical schools in the city of Kolkata and five of them began a project looking at the nutrition education of mothers and children in urban slums also in the city of Kolkata. The objective of these projects was to provide support to these 10 champions over a period of one year through remote as well as face-to-face -face training episodes 
and also other types of support in terms of project design, data collection and analysis. As a result, these two teams of champions conducted some pretty novel research and at the same time we monitored the process to look at the overall steps in capacity building, what worked and what didn't. And all of these are making their way to publications describing the entire Nalico process overall as well as the two specific projects undertaken by the champions that we selected, trained and supported over one year. In March 2015, several members of the NEDPRO group travelled to Boston in the United States for the American Society for Nutrition's annual conference held at a much bigger meeting, Experimental Biology, which is the largest collection of biomedical professionals coming together once annually to share findings from their research as well as gain consensus on the next steps. We were fortunate to have over 10 presentations. This included a number of invited talks at symposia held within the ASN, as well as our own mini symposium that we put together across NEDPRO's different themes of work. Our Boston meetings provided the ideal opportunity to come together with our US counterparts, as well as like-minded professionals from other corners of the world, and together to define the next steps in the medical nutrition education journey. In April 2015, Lord Richard Balfe became NEDPRO's first honorary patron. Lord Balfe brings years of experience from European Parliament, from championing a number of social and healthcare relevant issues, as well as his role as honorary president of the British Dietetic Association. Lord Balfe is a resident of Cambridge, a statistician by background, and brings a wealth of other connections into the NEDPRO group. Also in April 2015, the NEDPRO group had the opportunity to present breaking findings from a novel study at the International Obesity Summit. This study was based on the Intensive Weight Management Programme, which is an innovative method that is used at Cambridge University hospitals to treat pre- and peri-bariatric patients. In May 2015, NEDPRO continued its discussions with the international community on obesity through its presentation and further feedback received from the European Congress on Obesity. This helped to define the next possible steps in research as well as education relevant to this field. In June 2015, the NEDPRO Medical Director was awarded the MOBS Corporate Fellowship by the Faculty of Occupational Medicine of the Royal Colleges of Physicians of the UK. This fellowship enabled the NEDPRO Group to have presentations and a presence at the International Conference on Occupational Health in Seoul, South Korea. This led to international scholarly exchange between South Korea and the UK by the embedding of a South Korean researcher within the NEDPRO group in Cambridge and the harnessing of some of NEDPRO's key concepts to take forward aspects of medical and healthcare nutrition education in South Korea. Also in the same month, the NEDPRO group had the opportunity to interface with individuals and groups from all over the world by presenting at the Expo 2015 held in Milan, Italy. In July of 2015, the NEDPRO Medical Director was awarded the Golden Jubilee Fellowship by the UK Society for Occupational Medicine in order to progress some of the work that we had already started in India. In July 2015, the NEDPRO Group received local recognition for its contributions to the University of Cambridge. A number of key group members became Wolfsonians or members of Wolfson College at the University of Cambridge and this included a governing body fellowship for the role of the NEDPRO Chair. In addition, the NEDPRO Chair role was recognised by the University of Cambridge School of Clinical Medicine through the award of a senior clinical tutorship. 
In August 2015, the NEDPRO Group received further recognition in the form of a national prize, the Complete Nutrition Outstanding Achievement Award, which was voted on by 20,000 healthcare professionals and subscribers to the publication Complete Nutrition. This also marked the beginning of the NEDPRO Group's regular contributions now to this publication Complete Nutrition, by which we can reach out to between 13 to 20,000 healthcare professionals on a monthly basis. August 2015 marked the very first international summit in medical nutrition education and research hosted entirely by the NEDPRO group in Cambridge. Our patron Lord Richard Balfe described some of the key highlights of the summit. The goals of the summit are firstly to share information about medical nutrition education, secondly to share examples of successful work, thirdly to identify common needs and interests, and fourthly to identify opportunities to work together in the future. I'm very pleased that you're all here in Cambridge for this very important exchange of ideas and information, which I know is going to add to professional knowledge and be of great value in developing the strategy of the NEDPRO group and specifically international links to spread your important message. In September 2015, we had a three-part journey speaking to members of the nutrition science community, impressing the importance of medical nutrition education and associated research. Our first stop was here in Cambridge itself at the Nutrition Society Postgraduate Conference, followed by a symposium at Queen's University Belfast, and finally in that very month, a symposium bringing together the strengths of the European Union and the People's Republic of China in the form of a knowledge exchange symposium in Shanghai. Shanghai marked the beginning of NEDPRO's entry to an EU-China partnership for scholarly exchange and this will take shape over the next two to three years. In October 2015, the NEDPRO directors and key NEDPRO group members delivered a number of presentations at Learned Fora, including invited talks. This started with the Institute of Public Health's annual conference in Cambridge, the European Federation of the Associations of Dietitians, the International Conference for Polyphenols and Health, as well as the International Conference on Public Health and Primary Care, hosted by Imperial College London. The range of different audiences that we were able to engage with over September and October 2015 really gave us the opportunity to not only share our message, but also hear about some of the facilitators and barriers to the incorporation of medical or healthcare related nutrition education, either at evidence level, policy or indeed in practice. In November 2015, key NEDPRO group activities oscillated between London and Brussels, where in London we were invited to be keynote presenters at the British Medical Association's annual research award ceremony. We provided examples of how to bridge research, education and practice through innovative and often frugal means. In November 2015, we also took on the challenge of presenting at Food Matters Live, where we addressed a joint audience from industry, academia and practice on some of the challenges around salt reduction in our diet and also the role of nutrition education, particularly medical and healthcare related education. Having previously made waves at the International Conference on Polyphenols and Health, the NEDPRO Scientific Director took on the challenge of speaking to European Parliament in November 2015 on some of the merits of focus on dietary bioactives and health. The NEDPRO Education Director capped off the final presentation of the year for 2015 with a talk at the British Dietetic Association's annual research symposium highlighting the importance of water, the forgotten nutrient, and hydration for better health. Overall, the year 2015 was in fact a very busy but rather productive year for the NEDPRO group. The group strengthened its relationship with Cambridge institutions through formal agreements signed with Cambridge University Health Partners, through Wolfson College, University of Cambridge, 
and the Cambridge School of Clinical Medicine. Some of NEDPRO's flagship courses received formal endorsement by Cambridge University Health Partners over 2015, providing quality assurance and the ability to review these courses and update them for best use in future. In addition to the role of the NEDPRO Chair receiving recognition from Cambridge University, this was also recognised further afield through an adjunct professorship from the University of Waterloo in Canada to look at improving nutrition in secondary care. In Australia, similarly, the NEDPRO Group collaborated with Griffith University, leading to the NutriCare Logic model, which won a Best Poster Award at a national conference soon after the idea was conceived. Harnessing the power of partnerships and cross-border collaboration, in 2015, the NEDPRO Group were able to deliver over 30 presentations at scientific meetings spanning 10 countries. This really enabled us to share our messages, but also to learn from the many different findings of other similar groups worldwide. In NEDPRO, we truly believe that it's important to publish the findings of our own work as we go along, tracking not only what has worked, but some of the things which haven't. By the end of 2015, we managed to publish a critical mass of most of our work conducted over a seven-year period through peer-reviewed publications, as well as other publications read by professionals, particularly those in complete nutrition. Having experienced some of the highs of 2015 presenting to learned societies all over the world, the year 2016 started on a rather humbling note, bringing us back to reality. This is the reality of some of the unmet needs in the developing world, and the responsibilities that we have as a group to understand those needs and collaborate with others across borders to try and mitigate. As part of this, led by the NEDPRO Medical Director, we had the opportunity to visit a remote part of Kenya, where we undertook the task of putting together a video diary, a day in the life of a nurse practitioner who caters to a vast community across the spectrum of healthcare that is heavily dependent on good nutrition. In January 2016, our experience in Kenya encouraged us to launch an essay competition for nursing students in the UK, looking at the important role that nurses can play in nutritional aspects of healthcare. The top three entries from the nursing essay competition presented innovative and inspiring ideas at a symposium in Cambridge on the 1st of February. Supporting this important symposium marking nutrition and nursing were Professor Tony vidal Puig from the University of Cambridge representing medicine and Professor Christy Deaton also from Cambridge University representing nursing. This encouraged both Tony and Christy to join forces with the NEDPRO group as senior advisors and we now benefit from their combined expertise and advice. In early 2016, an important relationship was also consolidated by a visit to the University of Parma. The NEDPRO Parma collaboration started in 2012 and has now developed into a firm interlinkage between NEDPRO's capabilities in primary research as well as Palmer's world-class capabilities in dietary bioactive characterization, testing and application to the field of human nutrition. In February 2016, key NEDPRO group members travelled to India once again for the 2016 Cambridge India Symposium on the theme of nutrition, diabetes and personalised medicine. We brought together a number of researchers and speakers from Canada, Australia, from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, as well as from Cambridge, together with Indian experts on the topics of nutrition and diabetes. We added to this the importance of nutrition education for better practice, but also the importance of personalised medicine through consideration of genetics and inter-individual variation. Our 2016 Cambridge India Symposium also marked one year from the onset of the Naliko India Initiative, 
So by this time, all of the 10 identified champions from February 2015 had successfully completed one-year research projects contributing to the local evidence base. There was wide uptake from the Indian government, as well as a number of other non-government stakeholders in sustaining some of the findings and strengths of the Neliko India Initiative. Over March and April 2016, NEDPRO undertook trips to a number of different countries with the purpose of knowledge exchange as well as developing new collaborations to go into the future. The first stop in the spring of 2016 was Singapore, where the NEDPRO group interacted with the National University Hospital of Singapore as well as the Singapore Institute of Technology. This has led to an innovative collaboration between Singaporean researchers and the NEDPRO group. This has led to collaborations on the nutrition education side and we are about to pilot nutrition education in the Singaporean medical and healthcare workforce over the next 12 months, whilst also exploring some of the potential benefits of a Mediterranean type diet in the Singaporean or Southeast Asian context feeding into the evidence base from primary nutrition research. One of the key action points from the first international summit in medical nutrition education and research was to actually launch an Australia New Zealand network of the NEDPRO group. This action was fulfilled through a launch event held at ANZAPI in Perth, Australia in March 2016. ANZAPI, or the Australia and New Zealand Association for Health Professional Educators, brings together key change drivers as well as influencers from across Australia and New Zealand concerned with medical and healthcare curricula. Launching the NEDPRO ANZ network at this conference was a fantastic opportunity for nutrition related medical educators to speak to the unconverted. Some of the key forces behind the launch of the Australian New Zealand NEDPRO network were Carol Noson, Professor of Nutrition and Aging at Deakin University, and Lauren Ball, a lecturer and NHMRC Fellow at Griffith University in Australia. Both the NEDPRO Chair and Education Director were able to support the launch of this network in Perth by attending in person. Over 60 individuals from across Australian and New Zealand universities have now joined the network. Over the coming months and years, this NEDPRO network in Australia and New Zealand will seek to draw from some of the key strengths of both the NEDPRO group as well as local and regional institutions, thereby strengthening medical and healthcare related nutrition education, particularly through the development of shared resources, shared research and innovation, and a vision for learning tools that can be rolled out for maximum impact. NEDPRO's adventures down under continued as the NEDPRO chair visited Griffith University to deliver a talk, share ideas and develop collaborations, and also the University of Auckland and Massey University, both in New Zealand. In March 2016, NEDPRO had a presence at the American Society for Nutrition, this time in San Diego, with a number of presentations as well as collaborative discussions at meetings, not only with the American Society for Nutrition, but with the Society for Nutrition Education and Behaviour, an organisation that NEDPRO has been affiliated with since the very beginning. The next stop on NEDPRO's Spring 2016 World Tour was University of Waterloo in Ontario, Canada. Here the NEDPRO group had the opportunity to address two audiences, one concerned with translation of nutrition evidence for practice, and the role that nutrition education plays in implementation science, and another group of individuals interested in the rigour underpinning the nutrition evidence base that in turn informs practice. In Canada, the NEDPRO group had the opportunity to strengthen its interactions with the University of Waterloo's More to Eat study, looking at real opportunities to incorporate nutrition education across the spectrum of secondary healthcare in Canada. There are many important lessons from this work which can benefit not only nutrition practices in the UK but a number of other countries worldwide, particularly those with comparable healthcare systems. 
In April 2016, the NEDPRO Medical Director also had the opportunity to present at the World Health Organization in Geneva at the International Congress on Person-Centered Medicine. Here we took the approach of looking at the interface that nutrition and hydration has, particularly with well-being across the life course. Following our interactions in Geneva, the NEDPRO group has the unique opportunity to play a key role in the review of WHO guidelines relevant to our field. In late April of 2016, the NEDPRO group teamed up with the National Diet and Nutrition Survey team from the Medical Research Council's Elsie Woodison Laboratory in Cambridge. Together, they travelled to Morocco in order to deliver the Sun or Scaling Up Nutrition workshops funded by a grant from British Council Morocco awarded to key NEDPRO group members. Here, the NEDPRO group and NDNS team were also joined by researchers from the University of Nottingham as well as the University of Newcastle, both in the UK. The Sun workshops in Morocco were designed to improve approaches to nutrition education, research and surveillance through the training of healthcare professionals, public health professionals, but also professionals in nutrition in order to undertake further research and surveillance activities relevant to the Moroccan population health landscape. Overall, NEDPRO's Morocco capacity building workshops were a great success, engaging a number of young Moroccan researchers as well as practitioners in the formation of a new network which will develop with NEDPRO support in coming months. Our final stop in the spring of 2016 was Helsinki in Finland, which brought together a number of European research funders to consider the next steps and priorities for funding calls in sustainable prosperity, well-being and health-related research, particularly in the Indian subcontinent. Representing NEDPRO at this European Union India collaborative platform, the medical director of our group described the Naliko India initiative as a potential model that could be not only upscaled within the field of nutrition, but could also be applied to other contexts and disciplines. Following NEDPRO's interactions in Helsinki, we now have the opportunity to influence the European funding landscape in relation to India-focused projects. One of the key highlights for the year so far has been external recognition through the British Medical Journal's 2016 awards. The NEDPRO group were finalists and runners-up in the 2016 BMJ awards under the education category, particularly for the work that NEDPRO has done in promoting hydration education in primary health care. This has now led to further collaboration with key change drivers in nutrition and primary care within the Royal College of General Practitioners and the UK primary health care community. We now mark the middle of 2016 with two key events in the NEDPRO calendar, both held in Cambridge. Firstly, the NEDPRO Second International Summit in Medical Nutrition Education and Research followed by the first NEDPRO Summer School in Applied Human Nutrition. The summit is a train the trainers event, bringing together interested parties as well as experts from across eight countries to discuss some of the nitty gritty in what we should be teaching our learners in nutrition. And secondly, how we should teach. Thirdly, how we should evaluate the impact of this teaching and conduct research into the effectiveness of medical nutrition education. The summit brings together a galaxy of internationally renowned speakers, experts in their field, as well as a number of supporters from across academia, industry and practice. Following our international summit, our in-depth five-day residential summer school explores some of the key concepts underpinning applied human nutrition we bring the strengths of typical small group Cambridge University teaching with a plethora of experts from across different areas in nutrition, including the precedents of the Nutrition Society, the Association for Nutrition, as well as the British Dietetic Association. Over five days, a number of candidates will be trained in basic concepts, research methods, 
applied aspects of disease prevention as well as healthcare and also importantly public health and policy. This foundation course in applied human nutrition will also lead to membership of NEDPRO's Global Training Academy whereby we will seek to provide all of our candidates with bespoke sessions of advice and support for a number of months following their training so that they can take their newfound knowledge into their individual practice settings and truly apply what they have learned. Over the past seven and a half years, the Need for Nutrition Education and Innovation program has had the most exciting and exhilarating journey. This journey has not been without hurdles. However, there is no challenge that innovation cannot potentially overcome. And we stand united in our collaborative vision to improve medical nutrition education and health outcomes through this means. In line with our mission of improving population health, through medical and healthcare nutrition education, we will continue to undertake research into the effectiveness of education, but also research into primary questions which remain unanswered in human nutrition, and also primary nutrition research into unanswered questions which are critical to develop a robust evidence base in turn for translation to healthcare practice via education. We hope that our endeavours will build workforce capacity, will change default policy and will influence practice. Ultimately, through these multi-pronged efforts, we aim to make significant contributions to the reduction of global burden of disease through modulation of nutrition and nutrition-related health outcomes. NEDPRO is a collaborative group and draws from the strengths of its many partners, both internal and external. We stand in 2016 on the verge of an exciting five-year road ahead. We intend to organise our work into four key strands, one of which will come under the umbrella of the Global Training Academy, another strand of work which will undertake implementation research and consulting. A third strand, which will be concerned with harnessing the strengths of our consortium of research laboratories. And a fourth one, which will bring to life NEDPRO's vision of creating a charitable foundation to focus particularly on those populations who experience marginalisation and health inequalities. The NEDPRO group has also created an associated platform known as CREATE, Cambridge Research, Education and Training Enterprise. CREATE will focus on bringing together many of the generic and transferable skills within the NEDPRO group. In particular, in 2016, members of the NEDPRO group have published an Oxford Handbook of Clinical and Healthcare Research. This is a simple, easy to use toolkit designed for all healthcare professionals as well as those in the biological sciences who wish to undertake research, for we believe that research is everybody's business and not simply the property of academics. NEDPRO's associated platform CREATE will also undertake work in workplace innovation for workplace well-being. NEDPRO's associated platform CREATE will also undertake a well-being innovation at work initiative known as WIN-WIN, this is to garner the NEDPRO group's existing strengths in occupational health and well-being by creating a healthier, happier and hopefully more productive workforce. In 2016, we stand at a truly exciting juncture. This summer, we will be reviewing our strategy for the five years ahead. Do join us on this exciting journey where we take new ideas and through innovation, collaboration and the power of partnership create impacts in the world around us. NEDPRO is a program made up of projects, but most importantly projects are made up of people. And with that I would like to thank all of the people who have contributed and continue to contribute to every step of the NEDPRO group's journey, its many trials and tribulations, but also its successes. I would also like to thank all of you for following us on this journey and hope that you can be part of it going forward.